What if you could just upload your thoughts and memories to the cloud? In this video, we're going to show you what Neuralink is all about. Some believe it is a revolutionary technology that will change everything for us as humans, as it is but imperative for our future survival, and to some it sounds scary. In this video, we will break down what Neuralink is and how it works. Welcome to Tech Ed and Beyond. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing as well as hitting the notification bell to be notified when we release a new video. Our channel shares information about technologies and how they will impact your future. This being said, let's get to today's video. The human brain is one of the most mysterious and complicated organs in the human body, and it has always been a goal to understand why we behave the way we do. But now, with new technology like Elon Musk's Neuralink, we may be able to understand more about how the brain functions and interacts with other parts of our bodies. Neuralink is a company founded by Elon Musk in 2016, and it aims to improve the connection between brains and machines. Their goal is to create brain-computer interfaces that can help with neural degeneration, brain injuries, as well as fix neural problems, etc. They have been working on an implantable chip that would be placed under the skull. The chip would be placed by a robotic system into the areas of the brain that control movements or neurons. Its role is to detect neurons' actions and decode them then, send the signal out to a computer or a smartphone wirelessly. For example, people with disabilities or injuries in which they cannot speak will be able to communicate with others through their thoughts. The Neuralink technology has the potential to help people with neurological disorders the ability to regain some control over their bodies and restore sensory and movement function. Neurons are the longest living cells in the body and any pressure or stretching could cause severe neurons damage. Any injury to a neuron can stop the signals transmitted to and from the brain, causing muscles to not work properly. And with the installed chip, signals from the neuron would be detected and sent to an outside computer to allow an injured person to communicate. As much creepy as having a chip implanted in your skull may sound, Elon Musk believes it would help a lot in the medical sector with some neurons damaged diseases, such as Parkinson's disease, which causes difficulty to initiate movements, Alzheimer's disease, which causes people to lose their capacity to remember, epilepsy, depression. Also, people who have suffered a serious injury in accidents may also be able to use this technology, giving them a voice when they otherwise might not have one at all. As promising as this sounds, the timing of Neuralink's products is uncertain, as the company has stated that Neuralace can't go public until it passes safety standards in America. Neuralink needs FDA approval before starting Neuralace testing on humans, but the Neuralink has said Neuralace has a good chance of being approved. The technology, however, was trialed in pigs. The chip reads signals from one of the pig's brains in real time as it moves around. It was also used in a monkey that was able to play a ping-pong match with his mind. Musk also said the technology is being tested with no intent to harm animals while implanted. It can be removed safely from the skull if the patient no longer wants to carry it around or would like an upgrade chip. It is believed the company should start human trials sometime in 2022. As for volunteers, there have been many people in line ready to try this new technology. This being said, Neuralink's ambitions are not just limited to the medical sector, they want to use their technology for other purposes too. One of their goals is to make implants that will be able to translate languages in real time, would let people hear without using their ears, and would enable them to read without using their eyes. Many believe the initiative is important because it could make life easier for humans. But Neuralink remains a very controversial topic, mostly because of the ethical implications of linking human brains with computers. Some people believe it will have major psychological and behavioral impacts that would affect someone's mental behavior. Other related concerns are what would happen if the company releases an updated version of the device, but some users refuse to upgrade, as well as how vulnerable will it is to hackers since it is being updated to a computer. How about if your smartphone is stolen or hacked? Although the company is isn't anywhere close to releasing human brain machine chips yet, we should wait and see how these concerns would be addressed and how responsibly will they move forward. Thanks for your time and have a good one.